Hello everybody, this is SoyaChinchow.com and we're taking a closer look at the all new HTC One for 2014. In last year's HTC One, the Taiwanese smartphone maker has set a high benchmark with its premium aluminum design and for the new model, or better known as the HTC M8, they have moved the goalpost to a whole new feel. In the hands, the old metal unibody feels like silk and is such a pleasure to touch, hold and use. In the previous model, HTC uses 70% metal for its back panel and now they've incorporated 20% more which wraps all the way around from the sides and up to the edges of the display screen. This is truly another level of premium. At the front, it gets a larger 5-inch full HD display that uses Super LCD 3 and is protected by Gorilla Glass 3. This is a slight increase over its previous HTC One that came with a 4.7-inch display. As you would expect, the display is one of the best with clear details, vivid colors and wide viewing angles. Powering the device is a 2.5GHz quad-core Snapdragon 801 processor with 2 gigs of RAM and this is rather similar to the Galaxy S5. For onboard storage, you get a choice of 16 gigs or 32 gigs of storage. For the new model, HTC has finally included a micro SD expansion slot, which supports all the way up to 128 gigabytes of capacity. As you can see from the front, HTC has remained the same awesome boom sound stereo speakers, but they've improved it significantly to produce clear sounds across the mid and high range. On board, it gets a 2600 mAh battery, which is 300 mAh more than the previous model, but it is smaller compared to the latest Xperia Z2 and Galaxy S5. Also standard is an infrared blaster which you can use as a universal remote. Like the original HTC One, it also supports 4G LTE, including unlocker bands running at 1800 and 2600 MHz. HTC is using the same UltraPixel camera as before, but they've updated with a new software and hardware for improved picture quality. What's new is a secondary camera that's located right above it and acts as a depth sensor, allowing you to enhance the depth of field in post-processing. They have also added a couple of filters and effects to take advantage of this new dual camera setup. For flash, the new HTC One uses dual tone LED, which offers natural lighting and reduced flash burns. Over the front, you get a 5 megapixel BSI camera with wide angle f2.0 lens. Both cameras front and back are capable of shooting full HD videos. In terms of software, the new HTC One runs on the latest Android 4.4.2 KitKat which sends 6.0 UI that brings a couple of new features. For example, the new Motion Launch lets you launch apps by simply swiping and tapping on the display. It is a nice touch, but from my experience, the detection is a bit of a hit and miss affair. Accompanying the new HTC One is a rather new dot view case, which is basically a case that comes with a perforated cover at the front. When attached, the accurately aligned perforation gives a dot matrix view of the status updates such as incoming calls, SMS time and weather without opening the cover. So to take a peek of what's going on, just tap on the cover. So that's all for now and this is the first look of the all new HTC One for 2014. Thanks for the likes, thanks for the comments and for the latest news and reviews, do subscribe to our channel. This is SoyaChinchow.com and see you guys later.